All right. Yeah, everybody then can install it. That's cool. Um, there's some things you have to know about it in terms of connections. Um, let's go to my library. It works online and offline. So I'm using the online version at the moment that you can see. Um, what I'm also going to do in a minute is to show you the offline version. Uh, yeah, I'm going to post the video. Sorry, I haven't shared the screen. That's me being... We can see it in my office. I apologize. <laughs> um, share screen. Um, I don't think it's there, is it? Share entire window. Share that one. There you go. Ah, right. So sorry about that. It's okay. I'll, I'll, I'll post a video. I'm on the Mendeley page under my documents. And you can see all the papers that I've got, etc., etc., in here. Okay? Now, I'll go to papers, click around. There's a list of papers, um, and you can basically do a search. Um, service in um, 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 to telecoms. I'm doing it, I, I want to explain that. This then comes up with a whole bunch of answers. What we have to do to make sure that you are looking in the right libraries is, I've forgotten where it's kept. Let me try and find it. You go to account details. Um, and somewhere I can then find the import the libraries. Because one of the most important things in here is that you actually go through and you set it up to look at um, libraries that we've got. Matthias is just somewhere. I've just got your... Yeah. Ah, I've forgotten where it's kept. In here, I add in my li I think it's my library, sorry. No. On the online version. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm, I need to be in this one for the moment to um, get to the 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 libraries because you can set up different libraries for it to interrogate. Um, one other thing you can do is you can install a web importer. Um, this is a useful thing in your browser, which I suppose you already have. Let's go to the Mendeley desktop. I use the Mac version. If you're working as a team, you can actually share this thing. So if you're working like you were doing PDP again, um, you can actually share it so that you can have different people using it, which is one of the good things about this system. Um, let me just make this. You can also set it up to watch a folder so that if you have one folder where you just drop things into, like a Dropbox, um, it can then find everything for you. Let me just check how I, I need to go to preferences. Um, details, file organizer, watched folders. This is the watch, watch folders. So there's actually a folder which I drop things into and it just does it. Um, bib text X is something which I don't understand. Um, connections. That's not where I needed to be. Um, let's just do a literature search again. Um, service telecom. Okay, so it comes down with a lot of documents in there. Okay, bill, telecom service quality for brand loyalty. And then on the other side here, it's given me all the details in terms of uh, the abstract, the keywords, etc. What's really good is the fact I can now go to it and download it. You see it's got a little download icon. Yep. 
Okay. I'm going to go to this one, which is strategic analysis of telecoms. There's no download button in here. No, I've now done the search on desktop, Mendeley desktop. Yeah, it does, and I need to show you how to set that up in a minute. I, I'm, I'm using the literature search up here and the literature search in here, and I need to show you the connections to different libraries, and that's the one bit that I've forgotten where it's kept. Let me go and find a paper which I can find. Um, here we go. When we've got a DOI, that's an... It's like an IP address for a paper, okay? You can go to the... No. Uh, and the lookup succeeded, and it's given me a link, a URL. So if I click on the URL, it will then take me back to the website. But this time it takes me back to Science Direct as the website. Okay. Now because we're inside the university, mm -hmm. it says download to download PDF. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I just click on it and it will download that PDF. Yep. You can download only when you're in the schools, um, when it's got an IP address that looks like you're in the school. So you, either through FALPAYEN or the, um, when you're actually at, at, in Lucerne. Okay. Yeah, yep. Science. Okay. Do not pass. Yeah, it works for me. Doesn't it? Not on what? Who do you do that for? Okay. Let me go back to here. What you can also do. When you do a search, you see it's got related up here. Now this is what I like. You get very lazy and you just press related. And it goes and finds things which are related to the ones you've highlighted. Um, so very quickly you can drill down. Um, this must be getting really interesting because it's IEEE. Service Orientated Architecture for Business Intelligence. Ooh, that's getting nasty. This works very much like iTunes, yeah, it puts everything into one document library and then you can sort into folders, but the folders are all virtual folders, okay? They're not folders that we've seen before. Now then, what I've got to try and do is find you the connections for um, the libraries. Groups, papers, I thought it was under my library. Um, because there's a way that you can connect it back to, let me go to that, no, that doesn't help me. That you have to connect it. To different, and you do it once and then you forget how to do it, which is what I've done. Notification. I'll go to the I'll go to the help button in a minute. Uh, here we go. Sharing importation. This is the important bit. Edit your library access. I've got the Fachhochschule Winterthur. I've got Harvard in there. I've got the Central Hochschule Bibliothek Luzern, a Zurich Open Repository. I've got Open URL AC.UK. I've got WorldCat and I've got Google Scholar. Okay. If you want to add a new one, you go to Add Library. Um, I'm going to do it from the library list, it's just easier. Um, we couldn't suggest anything. Okay, thank you guys. So I'll go to the list. I'll go, um, yeah, Hoch. No, uh, it won't come up with anything. And other times what you do is you go to um, Google and you would go copy that and you would find it's, it's FSX. It's a little bit clumsy and nerdy, I'm afraid. 
S F X um, SFX is a special library format. Um, S, uh, sorry. Try again. Mm, no, 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 it's not coming up. Not. Ah, let's have a look. But to be perfectly honest, by the time you've got the the Google Scholar one in there. Um, S F X. I spelt it right. Yes. Not fine. Okay, it's a non. It's a very weird document. Um, ah. We have an, an application deadline for spring semester at end of December, Carl. I'm know. just trying to find. That, that only remains six weeks. Um. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't. No, there's no SFX in there. Let me go back. Let me go back to another one that I've got access to. Aha, that'll do. SFX. Who cares that it's in, in München? We can um, go to the bibliotheque there and. This then provides you some information on SFX. Um, and we try and find the address, which is FSX. I'm failing you guys, I'm sorry. The important ones are the ones I've got written down, because I know that they work. What I can do is send you, send you all that by screenshot, so you actually have that. I was trying to find what's called... Um, SFX link. You see we have this for link for Harvard. It's basically a repository, it's a library repository that allows Mendeley and other search engines which do literature surveys, searches, to be able to interrogate the database. That's all it is. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll, I'll give you a screenshot of the libraries. Yeah. It should be searching uh, through Google Scholar. So instead of having to go to Google Scholar online, you would actually do it through Mendeley, which is more efficient, because then it pulls the document into Mendeley. Okay? What I'd say is I'll, I'll send you all the links that I've got there um, once this call's finished. I'll post the little video that we've had so you, when you've forgotten and you want to find out something, you can go and have a look at the video again. Um, have a play with it yourselves and find out how it's working. If it's not working properly, see if somebody else's is working properly. And um, when you get stuck, then come back to me. Okay? Does that help, guys? Oh, I wanted to show you one really cool thing. Um, if I cut and paste, this is the most useful thing in the world. Cut and paste. I'm going to drop that into an email just to show you what it looks like. I'm just oh. because we're making a video my computer's running is just a little bit slow I 